So I have a reel that I need edited today and I figured why don't I just do it for you guys for the YouTube video. Now I've done this in my past and a lot of people have said they really like those style videos. So basically today is going to be taking my footage from start to finish of a video. And guys, these reels that I'm editing are getting lots of views. My last video I posted is literally on 60K views already on Instagram, which is literally mind blowing. And I'll show you guys all my tips and tricks that I do to make these videos go viral in DaVinci Resolve. Now guys, just a heads up in this video, I'm going to be using my my presets that I use because I implemented them into my workflow. So if you want to check them out, they will be in the first link in the description while I have a sale going on right now. This is going to be a very raw video. Let's hop straight into the tutorial. And guys, I will leave this footage down below so you guys can literally just follow along with me. But anyways, I want to use this for short form content. So I'm going to hit shift nine on my keyboard and I'm just going to hit use vertical resolution and I'm going to save this. This is then going to change it to the vertical content that we need it at. Okay. And I actually went ahead and did this AI smart reframe. So if we come here and hit it, auto smart reframe, we can hit this. And what that's going to do reels like the one you're watching right now is a lot easier than you think it is. Is it's going to auto track my body. Okay. So like if, if we look through this footage, you see that it's moving with my head. That's exactly what we want. All right, guys. So I did tell you I was going to be using my editing pack. So I have motion text pro right here. I'm just going to double click it and then it's just gonna auto come in my bends right here. So I just do this in every single timeline, just it makes my life so much easier. So I'm just gonna start off the video with a creating cinematic reels. So I have this zoom that I had actually made and it's really cool. So it starts off like this and it zooms in really fast. I'm gonna use that as my foundation and if we come to timelines and we go to text design in my new motion text pro pack, um, I really am messing with this this font lately I'm really messing with this one so I'm gonna come here and just copy this and go back to my timeline one I'm gonna hit command V because now we're in the timeline so we're actually gonna do a couple things differently here because I actually don't like this animation that is like already done for me so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this animation I'm gonna come to the fusion page and I'm actually gonna turn the animation off by coming up here, going to the template, and I'm just gonna turn this animation completely off because I don't need it. And then I'm actually gonna make my own. So I'm gonna hit shift space for a transform, and I'm actually gonna start it at frame one, come down to like right here, and we're gonna come up and go to like frame 30-ish, and then just come back up to 0 0.5. Um, this is just going to basically uh, animate this up really high and we can only we, we, we only really want to check mark the transform and then hit zoom to fit command a double click ease and then out cubic so now we have something like this boom just like that cool so I'm gonna extend this out to like the end of my clip and then I'm gonna double click and create this as a compound clip because what I want to do here now is do this opacity trick so I'm gonna turn the opacity down Go up two frames, come up one, two, kind of like a glitch effect. Just like that. And I'm gonna delay this glitch effect right here. So, and then this little money thing comes up. It's super cool. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna add two more effects. So we have to actually come back in this timeline and do cinematic and then probably size it down just a little bit and then come back to timeline one so now and then i'm gonna actually grab down minimal text so this is this minimal text is going to be only in the all-in-one bundle just an fyi and i'm going to bring in this left animation right here this is a different animation bring this one in tie it there change this to tactic sans and then do uh editing or creating my bad and we're gonna size this puppy down and then we're just gonna put this i kind of see the vision of it being like right here it looks good and then reels we're actually gonna actually grab uh right so we can switch up the animation so go to right and then type in reels do the same tactic bold yeah and uh, the best part is too, is that the fonts are are uh, come with my pack, and so same with like everything. Sorry, 
just locked in. I'll put reels like right there. Cool. So now I'm going to grab the effects and I'm going to grab the new zoom and I'm going to drag this along. So if it's lagging, I come to playback and go to timeline resolution and hit quarter. Now, be aware it's going to look really laggy like this, but that's totally fine. You're just saving your computer. Creating so creating cinematic reels. Boom. Cut that there. Oops. Cut that there. Boom. I'm actually going to grab a vert transition right here. Go to add. Maybe pull this a little forward. And I actually have a cool sound effect. It's like a paper sound effect. So I'm just going to drag this one down right here and then size the, t the actual volume down. So cool. And then after that, I come to text animation and I'm going to go blur slide up just like this. So I have this blur slide up. So I'm going to do so dot, dot, dot with the, just the, the preset. So I actually, I say I have, so I make sure you're using the right. Right apostrophe. I went, or right, right, uh, I'm tripping. Win ahead. So I have this cool B-roll footage of me like entering the screen right here in the same location that I was at. So I'm just gonna take my power grade and then take one of my LUTs and just slap it on there. That's how easy it is. So we're just gonna uh, unlink these clips and delete that audio and then just play this B-roll forward. It looks really good because I'm coming out of this left screen right here. And I'm gonna have all my animations up here. So I'll just make it about yay long. Just it needs to be able to fit in this, this right here. <clears throat> so for broke it down, I'm actually gonna come back to text design and this one right here, I'm gonna use this animation. So I'm just gonna copy the first animation. I just wanna reuse that. I'm gonna leave it just as is and we're just gonna do. So broke, pull this up like right here like right above these branches and then we have it so right there it and then for down I'm gonna put down like right here so just like that already done so I'm talking about a video that I I had done so obviously I need the thumbnail for that video so I'm gonna pull up the thumbnail I'm gonna put it right below the broke it down um, I'm actually just gonna create this as a compound clip and come up to my effects and this is pre-animate v2 a plugin made by me once again I'm gonna show you how easy it is so we're gonna slap it on my footage sometimes my DaVinci is weird and doesn't let me slap on effects so I had to bring it over there but look And then we're gonna zoom this one in when I say for completely free, cause I think that's a smart play. And we're gonna actually use this same exact animation right here. And I'm gonna do for free explanation point. I'm gonna use the, ti the title font, Apple Garmin, bold italics, slides it, slide it up. And then this is where it's gonna get wicked. So. I'm gonna come to timeline. I'm gonna do something I've never really done before. So I have this this new template made right here for the new Motion Text Pro pack, and I added it in. But it's I'm just testing around to see if it'll work. So it's just gonna be a fusion page. So you're gonna see it's gonna say no media went out. So I'm just gonna delete that frame, and then it's gonna come like this. So the only issue with it is that the zoom out doesn't work with the video. So I'm gonna come to the fusion page. And I'm gonna find that transform with the animation and just delete the animation. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and change the text. So, and then the POV is down here. So I'm just gonna, instead of POV, I'm gonna type in like four money signs. Cause I think it looks cool. And I'm gonna turn the opacity down. Just like so. Okay, so now we have something like this. And what I'm gonna do is probably add the same zoom. So, and then, and we're gonna cut both of these on right when this happens. And you can start creating whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna drag this animation and then just type out captions. And now you could use auto captions for this. But I'm just showing you an example if you guys don't have DaVinci Resolve Plus. So 
So I have the captions all typed out, just like that. And then for when, it's, when I say right now, I'm gonna add that animation back in on the back end. And I'm gonna do right now, explanation point. So then it comes up and then boom. So then go and then you just zoom in on it. Just like that. So that video is literally already done. I have a viral reel like done for me. Um, now I can't add any music for copyright purposes on YouTube, but add a copyright free song or add any cool song that you want. What's been making my videos go viral is, is adding a Snapchat video in the beginning. So I'm just gonna add this in the beginning. And make sure you change your audio track to mono because Snapchat doesn't, doesn't support uh, stereo, they only support mono. So I'm gonna put this video, I'm gonna bolt it on to the beginning of this reel that I did. And now, fellas, we have ourselves a viral reel. I'm actually gonna post this right now. All right, so I just posted it on IG Reels. I'm gonna update you guys in about 30 minutes. All right, I actually can't make this up. So it's been like roughly an hour since I posted the reel and it's already at 2,500 views with 80 likes already. Within the first hour of posting, you already know that video is gonna go viral with that engagement rate already. Now it is on my IG Reel if you wanna go check it out. This is the video. Um, now guys, that's that's pretty much as simple as it gets. I mean, you just saw me edit this reel. I think that was like a world record, like under 15 minutes or something like that. So um, this is just real and raw, okay? So you saw me, I use every single bit of my editing pack to make that video. I'm not bluffing when I say I use my editing packs. The only reason I sell them to you guys is because I actually use them. So I will see you guys on the next video. Go check out Motion Text Pro and actually just the all-in-one bundle because you get all of the assets I just used in today's video. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed and have a great day.